What is going on YouTubers? Abdur7 here from AndrewTechBlackSpot.com right now. I will be showing you how to flash Aristotelus ROM for your Galaxy S3 AT&T. This is a ROM which is running Jelly Bean stock leaked versions from different phones. If you don't know then let me tell you that there are so many leaked Jelly beans that came out for the L Galaxy S3 LTE versions, and our team in Somia made a star mushroom as always for Jelly Bean. And I would like to personally thank Smart Guy 044 and Wally 01X for working hard for Galaxy S3. Right now, I'll be going you go ahead and show you how to download it so click in the link description you will be on their website over there you will be presented with options and there you can choose what ROM you're running and under that link I will have direct link to what ROM I'm gonna be reviewing and showing you how to flash so first of all you're going to go ahead and booting boot up into clock home recovery you can do that by long pressing power button restart and here you have option to recovery reboot into recovery or the hard way you can turn off the phone there's a LED indicator you cannot see it but once that goes off your phone is completely off now you're going to go ahead and press volume up power and home button once it vibrates let go of the power button and you will present it with the second screen where it says Samsung here and on the top it will say recovery mode and then you will be right here this is your regular clockwork mode recovery and here we are going to go ahead and install the ROM first of all I am going to show you and recommend you to do backup and restore and backup to internal SD card I already done mine so I'm not going to do that so make sure you can you go ahead and do it because if you get into any problems you can always restore your setup once that done we're going to go ahead and press back button and be back at the screen right here here you're going to press wipe data factory reset scroll down and say yes delete all the user data do that three times once that's done we are going to go ahead and wipe cache partition three times we are doing it three times because you might be moving from ice cream sandwich to jelly beans. So you are probably moving from 4.0.4 to 4.1, which is completely diff new operating system. So you might want to make sure that everything is deleted. Now here we are going to go ahead and go to advanced or oh, mountain storage and go down format system. Format data done. Format cache and that's it. And we are going to go in advance. Wipe tele cache as always and wipe battery stats as it was recommended by one of the deal. After this is done, go ahead and press back button which is to go back and if you haven't figured out your volume rocker works for scrolling and your power button is for selecting. We're going to go ahead and install Z from SD card. Now keep in mind this is your external SD card, this is your internal SD card. So we are going to go ahead and find where you have your files. 
I will have it in my internal and the download folder so I'll go there and here I8 zip file install that's it and I'm gonna let it do its thing just leave it out for five minutes or more and it will start installing the ROM now this ROM is a uh, Deep loaded, zip linked, ODAX, DODAX, extended power menu. Or if, we, if if this is the most most uh, what do you call recent leak, then it might not have extended power menu. But let's go ahead and see what it comes with. On the second video, I'll show you. All the features and review of this ROM full review right now we are just doing how to install the ROM so it still says installing the ROM now it's writing boot image which is your kernel it's done now here you're going to go ahead and press back button leave it like this for a minute or two and then press power button which will reboot your system galaxy sgh i747 that was a really good boot animation oh team insomnia if you can see it here is the good look at the good animation as it says as Tatamus again as you can see the back light or your soft light keys has lit it lighted up I mean it's a good sign your phone is about to be booting up this means you are not gonna be into the boot loop and there you go your phone has now booted up please stay tuned for the full review of this ROM for right now go ahead and go check out my blog and blackspot.com subscribe after seven please go ahead and donate and thank team insomnia for this amazing as totem is strong for galaxy s3 if you have a galaxy note don't be disappointed because jamie is working on galaxy note and he's working on paranoid android rom for galaxy note I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe.